think about this. At, at the memorial exodus, because when you listen to these guys talk about Egypt and stuff, the other, there's a lack of understanding that they have about even Egypt itself. That's Check right. this out. There's a ruler in Egypt, or at, well, he was a ruler, by the name of Appa El. Think about this. His name was Appa El. Now, I'm telling you the word El, E L. El is the name that was used for the Heavenly Father. Huh? Now, check this out. Now, when you check this out as far as from a Morris paradigm, when you see Appa El, now this came before they had even went into the Quran. So the word El was already used, and then you had a ruler from a Shemitic presence at this time, way before. So now that, that ruled Egypt. Now, they talk about the cobra, you know, little, you know, you know the, 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 the caduceus, right? Now check this out. Think about this. Who did they come to to clear the snakes out of Egypt? Huh? Did they go to Pharaoh? No. Uh -oh. huh? we, 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 hey, we, we, hey we, you know what? We'll leave Moses out of it. We're going to leave Moses out of it. Okay? Here's why we're going to leave Moses out of it. Because there is a spell. Okay? A Shemitic spell. Okay? And the name of the spell is called Riri. -ri. Look it up. Now, why did they have to go to Shemites to get snakes out of Egypt? Mm. If they had all the grand wisdom of the world. Mm. So when you deal with the spell of Riri, -ri, you see that they're in this spell. And also, this is not a shot or anything about anybody, but this is something somebody look at. The brother Shaka used this book, and in this book, he used the tool of Unis. The spell of Riri -ri is in Unis. How come he never mentioned that in his book? You understand? That they had to go to Shemites to get clear snakes out of Egypt. Mm. So something is wrong when we deal with this kind of understanding. Oh, get right, get right. You gotta get, you gotta go to Shemites, you gotta go to goat herders. Don't let nobody fool you with that crap either. Right. Because that's a modern day, day terminology. Mm. Oh, they was just shepherd kings and goat herders. Let's right. just deal with goddamn common sense. Come on. If you got goats and you're dealing with goat herders and all that, what do you have? All the supplies you need on the world. You got food, ready and shelter. This is common sense. That's right. You got you got shelter, right? You gonna you gonna make your tent out of a bunch of them, right? You got clothes. You gonna chop them up. You gonna make you some clothes and some belts. You ain't got to, right? Think about it. You got all the food and all the milk in the world, right? Think about it. Now, doesn't this make sense? See, when you read the Bible, you got to deal with common sense. It makes sense when you say, okay, they stayed away from everybody in Egypt. Because we didn't need them. We had everything. <laughs> we didn't, okay, we, we didn't deal with our goats and all that. Can we stay here to make sure our goats eat over here? Yeah, you get fine. You niggas do what you want to do. So it's common sense that you see what kind of people we were, man. Self-sufficient. Self-sufficient. So don't get fooled by these terms. These are modern-day terms. Okay? By, by people that wanted to destroy our existence. So when you want to say, okay, cool, yeah, I was a, a shepherd king. I was a goat herd. So what the hell was you eating? What was you drinking? And what was you dressed in? You understand? Think about it. When you look at our dress code, it's in the Bible. In That's the law. Right. Look not upon another man's neck. It's coming. All right. But what's their dress code? They got loin cloth. So it makes a lot of sense when you read the Bible because it's just based on common sense, man, and a common denominator. You eliminate all the nonsense. You ain't got to get all the star ball and say, okay, wait a minute. If I was a shepherd king, I wouldn't want to deal with none of that either. I got goats. I got sheep. I got all that here. Why am I going to go over there? I'm good. Yeah, I know y'all hungry. You understand? <laughs> and think about it. They had to stay also sacrifice other gods too. When they sacrificed other their gods, what did they use? The same animals that we use, and swine was their number one. Okay? So with that, we know the brother Daniel Allah is here. Let's give Daniel Allah a hand. Five, ten minutes? Five minutes? Okay, perfect, perfect.